Okay, I've been following a ridge line in a new forest, never been here before. A uh, little closer to Lake Huron than where I usually search. Um, so I've been looking on the south facing slopes, so the south side of slopes, where it'll be a little warmer. Um, trying to identify dead trees, perhaps uh, elm trees, which Morales like and just came across my first group of morels and looks like there's an elm tree it's not a dead elm tree uh, but an elm tree within uh, three or four feet so here's what I found Two nice ones. A third one, good size, in good condition. And if you look over there, there's a fourth one, oh, and a fifth one, and a sixth one. Looks like they're all along um, a dead tree. Perhaps a dead elm on the ground. There's a dead elm, a live elm, that might be a part of a dead elm where they're growing coming out of the leaves. There's one. Further down. Another one. That's four. More growing. Ooh. Oh. It's a fourth one. Fifth one. I don't know if you can see those back there. Six and seven are back there. There's six and seven. Oh, two more right here on this, eight and nine. And then over here, 10, number 10 right there, 11 here, the little guy. If you can see him, there he is. Love morales. Been walking for a few hours in different uh, different forests, but uh, south-facing ridge lines. They work well in uh, early mid-May. Walk along the top of the ridge and look to yourself. And you might be lucky. This is also a, a good area. Um, a lot of sandy soil here. Morels like well-drained soil. You don't often find them in swamps, usually higher ground, well-drained soil. And again, if you find an elm tree, or a dead section of an elm tree, there's a good chance that you will find morels. Sandy, well-drained soil, high ground, 
south facing slopes. Good luck. Okay, about no more than a hundred feet from where I found the last grouping. Uh, I continued along. Continued along this south facing ridge. Lots of good sunlight. Warm the soil up. And no more than a hundred feet, another grouping. Uh, I'm going to count them now. There's at least 10, maybe 15, and they go all the way down the uh, side of the ridge. So definitely work ridges, south facing ridges. Middle end of May. We're May 18th right now. I'll show you what I found. Here's the first grouping that I found. Nice grouping of four. And then I stopped and I knew as soon as you find one or a few, they usually grow in groups of 10 to 15, sometimes more. So I stopped and I surveyed the side of the ridge and you can probably see them growing along there. Singly, not in groups, but there's a few. There's the first one, and there's two more back in there. Might be able to see. That's five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, you got to be careful when you find morels because you can easily step on, you can easily step on a few in your excitement. So <laughs> if you find a few morels, stop. Don't walk, take a look around, because they'll be growing, more of them, almost guaranteed. I think that's 10, and then I think I saw more down the valley here. I think. Oh yeah, just found them. That's grouping there. Two more, 12, 20 more. Twelve, and there's probably probably a few more growing down here. Mostly maples around here, but uh, at least one elm tree over there. So growing close to an elm tree, but not beside it, a good uh, 40 feet away. But there's usually an elm tree close by when you find a big group. Not always, but usually. And then if we continue along the same area, I just saw a couple more. Growing. Two nice black morels there. This whole ridge line here is obviously well suited to morels. It's a nice sandy soil, so it drains the water well. It's south facing, so it gets the heat of the sun. Which morels like, it's not too dense. And it has a wide selection of trees, mostly maples, but some beech trees and elm trees. All the way up there by my backpack is where I began. And I found the morels all the way down here to here. That's the last grouping I found so far. 
so quite a distance. You know, 30, 40 feet of morels. And there could very well be more down here. Have a quick look. I really do love these ridge lines. Okay, walked for another hour, hour and a half, found nothing. Uh, and then, as I'm making my way back to the car, uh, hit a south-facing ridge again. And again, a lone elm tree. Love those elm trees. And there are lots here, potentially 20 or more. So I'll just take you through what I found. Again, south-facing ridges. Best luck I've had. Look for elm trees. And uh, you might get lucky. Alright, let's count. Lots of black morels here too. A uh, big grouping of yellow and black. There's one. I'll probably miss some. There's a big black, two. That's gotta be five inches. Getting close to six, some of these. Nice black, two, three. Four. Another big morel for these parts. Four. A few more blacks. Five, six, again be careful when you're, when you're counting morels, you'll step on some, at six, I just saw one hiding in the leaves that I hadn't seen, amazing how that is a morel, remove the leaf, there it is. Seven. And then we'll backtrack and go on this side of the elm tree. There's the elm tree. There's the elm tree. I think we're at seven. A few more blacks. Eight, nine, here's potentially the biggest, black, ten, that's getting close to six inches, that guy, that's a beauty, south facing ridge, south facing ridge, that's ten, now I'm starting to get all this count now because there's so many over here, little ones. Eleven. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, small, three small ones there, thirteen. Little blacks, if you can see them. Another little guy over there, fourteen. I'll probably leave him, he's too small. I will let him grow for another to find. There's 15. There's some yellows here now. Nice yellow. 15. Sixteen. Seventeen. Nice black. Maybe 18 over there.
This is a pretty good grouping. Biggest I found today, 18. And maybe a few more. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna continue along the ridge here because I see more, at least one more. 19, that's a big black. Hard to see in the sunshine, but 19. Got an ash tree here, a couple ash trees, elm. 20, we hit 20. There's a lot of black. How far along the ridge can I go? Finding them. I think that's it. That's it. 20. So, so far today, I don't know, 15, 15, 60 morels. Just focusing on south facing ridges. Get that sunshine, warm up the soil, and then we have the right tree types deciduous forest, and then elm and ash trees. Only well, takes a couple, and they love to grow by them. And nice uh, soil that's sandy that drains, drains the uh, rain and moisture. Okay, walking another 45 minutes. Again, south facing ridges. And I saw one, two, three elm trees. One, two, three elm trees growing. So I stopped. Elm trees, ridge, sun, sometimes equals morales. And did again. Fourth time today. Quite a few here. One, two, three, four, five, some little yellows and a black, six, seven, eight, that's a nice one, nine, just looking for a few more. Uh, a little group of nine. Again, a ridge line. Ridge line, ridge line. South facing. So close to 100 morels found in two days, uh, about 60 morels found today and around 20 or 30 yesterday, so I think 94 in total I counted. So dehydrating a whole bunch to use over the winter. cooking in butter, garlic and wild leeks. Thank you.